Hey guys, today I figured I would just make a quick tutorial on how to set up a TCP dump um, <clears throat> honeypot or Splunk. So the first thing that you need to do is obviously go register yourself a Splunk cloud free trial account. You can get one for 14 days. So in this case, you're going to create your Splunk trial. You get 14 days access. Eventually, once you get into your uh, cloud control panel, you're going to see universal forwarder, forwarder over on the left. Go through all of these instructions. Essentially, what you're going to do is go to the Splunk downloads page. From here, you're going to find Linux. I'm assuming that you're going to be using Ubuntu or Debian. That's what I did. So you would obviously go to this download now section. From this page, you're going to see a simple wget. So it should make mention of uh, wget on here. So it does it right here, actually. So if we click here, we just basically copy and paste this in to our machine. We would hit enter. Uh, from hitting enter, we would see the Debian package. And so from there, you would just do dbkg hyphen I Splunk, I believe. But you would obviously sudo sue, and then you would do that, I believe. dbkg hyphen I Splunk. Yep, so that's that. Perfect. Anyway, you would go ahead and do that. It would unpack uh, the Splunk forwarder. And from there, you'd go back over into the installation instructions if you want. Otherwise, what you're really doing is you're going to download this uh, universal forwarder credential. And then from here, you need to put that onto your VM where your forwarder is going to be. And so I actually did that. Um, <coughs> I actually did that here. Uh, what I did though is I moved the file over into uh, it's OPT. I'm sorry, actually, I, it's I put it into temp actually, so it was in TMP, and from there I ended up installing it over into my Splunk directory. So it is inside here, uh, which if we look inside of, I want to say it's Etsy, and then system, local. So if I look inside of my server.conf, that is how we know. But anyway, you, you have to do like the, the Splunk app install command, and that is all detailed inside of here, I believe. Yeah, so if we scroll down, it should be Linux. Yep, so this would be it right here, uh, except I, I just went with this simple uh, basic forwarder credential. <clears throat> this was very easy to do. I just placed that SPL inside that temp area, and then I installed it. Um, right, so j just like that. It was super easy to do. Uh, could could not have been easier. And then uh, you just restart it. It just auto populates in your credentials. And at that point, what I did is I created an inputs config, and you can see we are calling uh, to monitor var log honey u. And so u is a file. It's a file that we're writing log data out to, and I'll show you how that looks. But basically, if I history and I grep for u, we can see I'm touching u and messing around with it, but essentially, the command that we're, we're really interested in is, is this right here. So this, this is the one we really like. So if I actually copy this command, 
I do that without writing out to U. You can see we're seeing uh, this 20, this 20 IP traffic. So that's noisy, and so I don't, I don't really like it. So what I decided to do was ignore that particular IP. So here we can see that, and so. So now I'm ignoring that IP. If I were to load uh, port 443 of this machine, my IP address would show up here like really quickly. You you would for sure see my IP in here. But anyway, what we want to do is run this. But uh, let's see. Unbind Linux man. Leave process running SSH. Oh, detach. Okay, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking detach. So if I run this and I write this out to you, but actually we want to go into our honey. So CD var log honey, and then we want to run this calling out to you with an and symbol at the end, and then we can just type detach. Okay. That's weird. Yep, install pdt. I don't know, man. Oh, disown, disown is what I was thinking. So if we run this, and we type disown, that should continue running in the background. And we can actually check that out by checking the size of the file. So here I can see U is not, not showing anything. I'm gonna reload this. I check that file size again. You can see it is actively monitoring. So that's cool. If I cat this U file out, we would see uh, just some logs, and we, we would actually see this over as well in our Splunk instance, assuming that we rebooted, right, or restarted that Splunk forwarder. But now you have TCP dump data writing out, and, and, and it's pushing it over the data over to Splunk. From there, you can extract out IP addresses. But you can open this up for, for more ports. So in this case, I'm looking at port 443. You can do port 443 or 3389 or 22 or whatever else. You, you can also ch be checking ICMP in, in the event of maybe like a ping sweep. But this is cool because now you have a honeypot sending all your data right over to Splunk. It, simple as hell.